Welcome back to Stasis. Let's go to the toilets now. These look not good. Medicine. Stained by the drip 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 of blood. Water stains streak, streak down the metal sink. Stained metal sink so, uh, collect and soap and dirt. That's soap and dirt. I think I'm taking the one with the water. A filthy wet towel plugs the toilet. Surprisingly clean toilet bowl. bowl. So let's go there. Good to know the important stuff keeps on working. Yeah. Flushing won't clean this metal toilet bowl of the rust that has accumulated over the years. Okay. Nothing else here. Oh, wait. Let's get the Towel. Oh, this is disgusting. Wet, dirty towel. Uh, I can't see it working like that. I wanted to have a wet towel instead of a wet, dirty towel. Okay. On click games, always about collecting everything. That doesn't make sense. Okay, this admin computer awaits input from a user. Administration terminal. Product storage security. Uh, the office door is unlocked, the infirmary door is unlocked, the maintenance door is unlocked. Storage storage bay 2, door is damaged and the main freight elevator cannot be unlocked from here. Notifications to all uh, crew members. Just a note to remind all crew that the lockdown system is still connected to the storage tanks. If the system locks down, you can falsify a leak and it will reset. And bathrooms. The bathrooms are now in working order. Peters will be back and on duty in four shift rotations. So... The lockdown system is connected to the storage tank. If the system's locked down, you can force a fire leak. Okay. So that's why we opened the uh, maintenance door. Okay. Okay, Robert Freedy, General Administration Officer. Also, we get a, a nice pin thing of the Kane Game, Game Corporation. Employee survey. And the rest is not readable for me. Security told us 14 days ago that they'd be rewiring the lockdown system. So for two weeks we've had to deal with random system shutdowns. Two days ago Peters was locked in the bathroom while it flooded. And we only got him out this morning. I'm just thankful this didn't happen last Tuesday when hydroponics had the screw up with the poisoned mushrooms or we would have been painting the walls of the elevators in transit to the crew level bathrooms. Maintenance was down here for the final rewiring of the lockdown system. It's all working except they crossed wires with the central product, uh, product storage systems. Every single time a leak is reported in the storage tanks the system resets instead of auto sealing the tank. It's nothing we can deal with in the short term. I know it's going to take forever to get them back down here to fix this. New doctor complained. The new doctor in charge of cracking pots has complained about the surgical bot, something about the tool selection. I told him just to lock a complaint with maintenance like the rest of us and hope something happens. He was not impressed. And I spoke to Sarah Salvatore, a nurse in product storage, about getting in some new personnel to help with the opening of new stasis pots. The last nurse left due to emotional stress. I guess she had a breakdown when they cracked a pot and there was a kid inside. That's my kid. And this is... Uh, okay. Good. No more doors here, so we have to go out here. And we unlocked maintenance. Warning. 
Air filtration system offline. Toxicity increasing to dangerous level. This is pressure regulation. The large red wheel might have a chance of turning if you give it your all. That's all we have here. Does a towel help? No, that won't work. Does a siren help? I don't think that'll work. Okay, uh, do you want a towel in your face? This isn't gonna work. Uh, will you end it all? Nope. He didn't want to end it all. I have no idea what he does when I do that, but he has no complaints. Let's go here. Empty, empty crates, what's that? Empty crates, all empty crates and in PDA. Personal logs of A. Brian, flight engineer first class. Andrew here, it's about uh, 6 a.m. I'm absolutely exhausted, so this is the most advanced scientific research ship in existence, huh? Bullshit, I've been here for only three months and now I know why the previous guy quit. Leisure equipment, steam vents, Circuit breakers. Everything has at least one serious design flaw. Not only are the cooling systems ca uh, capable of falling. Simmons volunteered to be a research subject and something has been off with him since he got back from the labs. I don't want to report him to security, but I'll keep an eye on him. Fucking research department. Can't, uh, can't they use monkeys like everyone else? Not only are the coolant systems capable of failing, they are capable of at least four different types of fault and I can only spot two of them in advance. The ship's been running for 50 years and nobody bothered to do any upgrades. Bottom line, the casings are shoddy and they are going to need months of, months of works to make them 100% safe. I've also put a muzzle in my shoulder trying to rotate the pressure release valve, the best that needs to be turned three goddamn times. CSEC sent me down to the ass end of the ship to fix the fluid storage vats again. Not too long ago, other vats malfunctioned and started spraying that acidic shit all over the place. The bulkheads locked down and the entire maintenance crew dissolved. They only found teeth. I'm not going home in a jar, so I've killed the security system lockdown. If that thing so much as pisses that acid in my direction, the system will reset all the security procedures. Safety first. Okay, that's the reason why he did that. Uh, system failure, please contact A. Brian. Please contact A. Brian, please contact A. Brian, please contact A. Brian. Sound of bubbling liquid. We hear the sound of bubbling liquid, but that doesn't help me because we can go on from here. He only said... He only said that we have to turn the wheel three times. That's all he said, but we didn't have anything to turn the wheels yet. We can... Can we do anything here? Like... I think that would break. Hmm. Maybe. No. Nope. Okay. All of them have three on it. Yeah, that's like tubes, but they they form the word three, and that's everything we're gonna get here. Okay. Come on, old man. <laughs> that's one. Now I saw it move, but it, it said that it needs to move three times. Okay, no idea what I did. Let's see here. 
Did we do something here? Does to say the same stuff? Let's go over here. Which would lead back to this main room. Uh, we might have changed something back here. By turning the valves. This is still alarm. It's also the first time we came back here. The terminals don't say anything, the steam doesn't say anything, can we No crazy Wait, Steam This isn't gonna work. Okay. Well that's also not what you're supposed to do. <clears throat> then let's go back to that lobby looking place. Takes a while to get there. I have no idea what we, we could do there. Oh! The heavy metal door stands are moving, occasionally emitting a mechanical hum as the service monitoring attempt futilely to open it. No, that won't work. Uh, I think that would break. We can combine it. We can combine that. Okay. I mean, there's no reason to go back there, really. Uh, let's see if uh, we can now use the admin terminal to open the other door, because we fixed the uh, pump thing. Nope, doesn't work. Toilets. Can we do something about the toilet? Can't we use that for something? Mm. I'm a bit, bit of a loss here. There. Did we flood something now by using everyone? Every single one of those? Huh. I might m have missed one door somewhere. Unused for a long term. We can't. So we have done that, whatever we had to do here. So I assume we have to go there now. Uh, that's we had to click it three times not uh, turn it three times because I think we didn't turn it the first time so and what does turning this three times do there I can scroll great that's about the pressure re release wave okay uh, next one <coughs> Huh. I have no idea what to do now. Let's try this. Nah, that's ridiculous. That's just crazy.
Point and click adventures, man. Sometimes they have just so unobvious solutions. I think that'll just break it. I don't think that'll work. This isn't gonna work. I think that'll just break it. I don't know what I was thinking. Hmm. Now we try combining everything with everything. The last truly great company wants to thank all employees for their dedicated service. It's this radio that can't stop talking. Life expectancy is up five years. We are at the cusp of greatness. In the words of Henry. What did I just do? If I put the wet dirty towel on the radio, we do something on the computer. Hmm. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do now. Did I miss anything? Of course I did miss any something, but what? Ah, the seating. The seating over here. Let's cut it off. No, let's sit. Okay, steady yourself. There has to be someone here. Someone who can help. Someone. I love Jupiter Cola. I love Jupiter Cola. I love Jupiter Cola. I love Jupiter Cola. Love your Jupiter Cola. Breathe. If you're alive, and so are they. Okay, I can like take a rest there. Hmm. Maybe. No. Clean it. I'll clean that. Cut something off the tree. Maybe. Cut something off the other tree. Hmm. That was like the only thing that we have had here. Should I try to clock the... Mm. Toilet with something? Mm. Probably not a good idea. Yeah, it was from, came from that toilet. Nope. It doesn't work like that. Scan the walls again. Do we have like tab to highlight every interactable? No. I'm pretty certain I'm missing some. Does this thing have a door around here? No, it doesn't. What? What's going on here? Weird. Continue game. Uh, let's see if we missed the door here. No. I have no idea what we're supposed to do now. So let's see what we can do. We had this robot in there. That we could maybe do something uh, with it. No, crazy. Um, let's see. Activate the robot. And then. Go here. Let's see. What do we want with the robot? We have uh, skin harvesting, and I want the dirty stuff harvested from the towel. Uh, no. 
no. Crazy. From the glass. He didn't say anything to that. No, that's ridiculous. These don't go well together. Okay. Then... Ah, it always goes to the high-speed neural drill. Product spinal tagging. Doesn't do anything. The mechanism that holds the neural drill in place is unlocked and open. Can we just take it? No, we can't. And if we want to access the prep, it automatically goes to neural drill mode. Okay. And we can't do anything with it with the stuff that we have until now. Can't even look into inside these. Let's see, can we take something out of the organic waste? Okay. Hospital beds. We could cu cut open the mattresses. That would break. Yeah, that's the reason behind my... I can't see it working like that. Nope. As you can see, I'm uh, crazy trying anything out now. Work. But I don't think... Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> no. Okay, we have this robotic arm over here. Can we cut something out of it? No, crazy. Can we make it wet? Nope. Can we wipe up the blood stain on the floor? No, that won't work. Uh, that's another blood stain. Right blood trace downward from the countertop. I'm pretty certain I've now seen everything. Let's see the product chat in terminal. Okay, we've seen that. Seen all this. We have one out of three stasis log from our ship. Ah, here. This one. That blew my mind. And uh, now I'm thinking always, ah, have I missed another one of these? I mean, this is the place where we started. But that's... I tried everything there. I give my... Uh, that's an empty syringe. What can I do with an empty Let's see if we can do anything with an empty syringe here. Like there's a fluid on the ground. This isn't gonna work. But I can't clog it up. No. Can I wipe it up? No. I don't think that'll work. I can't take that. Can I take liquid from that with I this? Can't see it no. Working like that. Can I cut the cryotube? No, won't work. Can I syringe the cryotube? Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> no. Um, I'm clearly missing one thing where I can interact with the environment that I didn't see until now. Do we have another exit out of there? No, we, had, we don't. We were now everywhere again. Let's see, can we do something? No, no, that won't work. I tried every combination of items. Leaking oil. Leaking oil. Taking it with a siren. Nope. Maybe. Taking it with the towel? Nope. Also not. A elevator control? I can't go to the elevator control because I can't go through the freight door. Freight elevator door. Damn it. Locked. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we need... Do we have a hint system here? No. Phew. 
been a long time since I've been stuck so hard in a point and click game. Mostly due to the fact that I haven't played any point and click games on this channel yet. Oh. Cut the damn radio. Okay, he always does this weird an animation if you try to combine anything with a radio, so that's general bug. Okay. Can I siren the computer? Can I trick tree set from the tree? No. Okay. I think I uh, will uh, thumb around off screen for a bit until I find a solution. Uh, what, what I mean off screen, uh, I'll let. Oh, god damn it, that's the wrong room to talk about anything. This room is too loud. I will go around and check every corner again and check every item interaction again until I find something. See you then. Wait. What? No, now it works? And we got... What did we get? The high-speed neuro drill. Huh. Yeah, what I did do is... Ah, I didn't make it uh, retract again. I didn't make it retract again. Uh, after switching the power, I wanted to, to try the, the dogmate again, but I, then I saw that it's still extended and I want I just wanted to click on it to make it go back, but then I just took it. That's it. Wow, that's stupid. I didn't even think about that being a puzzle. Okay. So with a drill, I'm pretty sure I know where to go to. So that's what we are we're doing now. We're using the drill somewhere, which is through the maintenance door. Through this, now that I've turned that thrice, I think that the fluid tanks can now be drilled. They are full and can now be drilled. Isn't it that way? Okay. System reboot. The rebooted uh, monitoring system is slowly cycling and checking each subsystem. Okay. And now it. Go on. Oh. That took a lot of flailing around and running around and doing things twice and thrice. This is not opened. The other door is still malfunctioning. I think. We can double check fast. I went from and back every room. This session is now like one and about over one hour long. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That's the problem with point and click games. Sometimes you miss a little thing and then you got a problem. Use the elevator. Uh, P storage one, P storage two, the lobby one.
Attention, service platform one. Please check in with the duty officer before engaging with any products. The room in the uh, on the other side of the observation proper has a single bed in the center surrounded by life support machinery. Empty room containing a single chair. Teddy bear soaked in red fluid, its matted hair plastered to a hard metal floor. What? Okay, there's where my child could be. Okay. No! Your interaction point is up there. Can't do it like that. What are they doing here? Dirt cakes the inside. Smeared blood makes it impossible to see into the room beyond. The outline of a human adult can be seen in the body bag. Outline of a child, of a child, an adult side appears to be full, and a corpse, and a biometric terminal. Let's see, there's nothing here. This closed body bag. There's swaths of blood beyond that. Open body bag. And we got, what was that? An electronic toe tag. Okay. Swath of blood. Clutch plastic, but only can be dried blood. Okay. There is a child here. I want to see if anyone here is my child. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. The dead child's eyes stare directly at you as if in recrimination. The corpse does not seem to miss its toe tag. How could you do something like this? Oh god, I need to get to Rebecca. The body of a child, you almost feel guilty with a flood of relief when you realize it's not your own. Yeah. I'm searching for my wife and my children, that's why I'm opening these. That was a ghost. That was a hologram. The airtight enclosure of the body bag has made it difficult to judge. Security holograms are still working. How long this corpse has been lying here? Okay, I've opened all of them and I got the one toe tag. And this corpse has a lot of stuff here. Clara Daniels, general nurse. New job. When Mike suggested I go and work in product storage, I honestly thought he was nuts. I mean, the pay is great and the hours are fantastic, but the job, well, I think it will be boring. Apparently, the only time a nurse is ever needed is when they crack a stasis tube open which Robert, the admin officer, said hardly ever happens. Nine times out of ten, they just take the pods directly into the different projects. I'm hopeful that we'll be able to open one soon. Tomorrow I actually get to do some work that doesn't involve monitoring vital signs. We are opening a pod for Dr. Isaacs pr in Project Kitchen Knife. They said they need a specimen who is fully awake. These pods are filled with prisoners and drifters. They had their chance at a productive life and ruined it all. Yesterday was much harder than I'd imagined. When we opened the pot, the woman inside had no idea where she was. I'm aware that long-term stasis can cause disorientation, but she kept screaming for her husband, saying they were on their way to holiday in Europa. On Europa. Either the, the Jupiter or Saturn moon? One of the both. The, that's the one with uh, the water, uh, the water ocean between a thick, uh, uh, beneath a thick ice shelf that has geothermal activity and uh, geysers sprouting out of the ice. Uh, if you haven't uh, seen anything on that, that's quite fascinating. The doctor quickly sedated her and gave her a vocal cord numbing agent to stop the screaming. I mean, she was obviously lying about being a holiday maker. These drifters will say anything to get out of this situation. She doesn't know. We got an another two products in this morning, transfers from a penal colony on Earth. I asked to have a look at their files, hoping that it would ma make this a little easier, but I was told that all records are sealed. I had to delete the last few, few logs. I read them over again, but they were just too painful. I can still hear the crying of the last man we thought out. He didn't even scream. He sat on the bed crying. 
until the doctors came and they tagged him and took him down to the labs. He didn't even scream. Yesterday we opened up a pot with a 10 year old boy in it. There must have been some sort of mistake. Even if he was a drifter, he's a child. His name is Neert. He is in rehabilitation downstairs. I asked to go and visit him, but was told that it would be easier for me if I just let things be. Because he was... They did something to him and he didn't come there. He didn't uh, really reach rehabilitation. Went out of product storage. I requested a transfer to the biomes. I think hydroponics will shear me up. Yeah, it, only if you don't know what uh, the fertilizer is made out of. Yeah? Maybe you will see Neil again. The pay isn't as good, but at least I'll be able to sleep at night. I heard the department had stuck talking about getting something from product storage. They already have four unopened stasis pods in the lab, but they are looking for a subject that can respond immediately. This isn't right. They're using products from product storage too. Thought this was just a hydroponics bay. What the hell would they need human specimens for? Sarah told me that there are more children in the rehabilitation centers under product storage. I'm going there tonight. These security lockdowns have been happening more frequently. I'm going to use them to my advantage. Tomorrow I'm going to get those kids out of here. I'm leaving these entries on this PDA so that if I disappear you know what happened. Whoever is reading this you need to help. Please help those children. They are dead. Okay, this corpse has nothing more. A biometric access door requires a handprint to unlock it. Not mine though. Attention. Biometric handprint not recognized. The mortuary requires level 5 security access. Okay. So, if this is service platform, this is a product storage. So we came from product storage 1, and I want to see if uh, we can go up to product storage 2. <coughs> wow, they sh should do the loading before that. Okay, that's product storage 1. Product storage too. This should be shorter than the other elevator ride, if this is not a hidden cuts, a hidden loading screen. But they have this long time of standing there doing nothing. Attention, product storage two. Access to product storage 2 is denied until further notice. It's a static screen, a bent heavy loaders, another locked door, this locked door, and nothing else we can really see. Okay, then we have to go to product storage 3. Doesn't work. Okay, service lobby 2. I think I can sometimes hear others dropping down the elevator shaft. This is a weird dystopian future. Hey! Coming out in service lobby 2. This is getting colder. This is cold, okay. We have a service elevator door. Wasn't this the service elevator? The flickering lights highlight the scratches on the elevator doors. Some of the scratches look like they were made by bare nails across the paint. The yellow paint of the service elevator door flakes to the ground. A spinning red hologram inc inc indicates that the door is locked, so this one isn't locked. Okay, that's nothing. The yellow metal door to the service elevator is locked in place, and we have service platform 2, and we can go there. So let's go to that door, which is the only attackable. Oh. What? That's my wife. That's my wife. Go to that one. Okay. 
Okay, so behind that there are people locked, but we have to uh, undo some sort of lockdown, I think, again. Okay, this will be it for the second episode. Uh, I have no idea how much I have to cut out during my fumbling around, but I at least wanted to show you what's uh, after that. See you next time.